This Pilbara landscape looks a little like the surface of Mars. So it's appropriate that what we found here not only has implications for the origins of life on Earth, but also for the search for life on Mars. It was on my first research trip here that I found this little rock. And this rock shows us that life lived on land 580 million years earlier than we previously thought. It also shows that hot springs were forming 3 billion years earlier than we previously knew. These findings suggest that the origin of life could have occurred in hot springs on land rather than in deep sea hydrothermal vents. Right Three and here, a half billion years ago. You've got microbial textures with geyserite within millimeter scale sitting on top of it. This is a real shift in the way we think that you can't make life in the oceans. It had to be on land. And what we found in these Dresser Formation hot spring rocks, they have the right chemistry for origin of life studies. So actually we've got the whole recipe here right in front of us three and a half billion years ago in rocks that are the same age as much of the crust on Mars. And so we can use this information to guide about where to search for life on the red planet. And hot springs on Earth, we know all through the geological record now, have signs of life and the right chemistry for origins of life. So if you're going to go to another planet, those are the two ingredients to search for. And we have a place that has hot spring deposits of this age on Mars. And we just think that's so exciting. It still amazes me that we were able to find this needle in a haystack and that this piece of Australian research may alter our understanding of the origins of life on Earth and the search for life on Mars. <laughs>